Okay, people. I finally have a room. I made a video earlier um, about how every room I go to, every room I try to charge my phone, it's all, all messed up where I can't uh, charge my devices. Well, I'm going to try to load that up. In the meantime, I'm at the railway here, and this is where they tamper with the room. And uh, as I told you, uh, two days I tried to find a place to stay, a room, and I could not. Two days, I walk, one day I walked over nine hours at location that I know these motels, hotels supposed to be at, I couldn't find one. Second day, I figured I walked 11 hours. And they, they're all really near. I remember seeing them before. Um, this is right down the street from the parole office. This this place here. But um, God always put people in place to help us. And uh, one of the person, uh, I won't say her last name, but Yolanda, because God said we got to have friends. And we can't trust anybody, but God always puts somebody in place to help us out. Yolanda rode me around when I told her I could not find a room. Now, the motel office that said that after a day, I could come back, that I could only rent for, and that's what they do here in, in California. You can only rent for 28 days, and then you have to leave and uh, come back. But the lady at all, uh, the Astro yesterday said that she didn't have a vacancy, and I know she did. Um, Yolanda suggested I go to U-Haul to get a uh, truck, I mean a, a, a storage, so I can put my things, a little closet. She told me they run from 40 to $53 a month. And of course, I get to U-Haul and they don't have anything. So he said, the only thing I have is 10 by 12 or something, $400. I said, well, give me that. All of a sudden, U-Haul, he say, I don't have that kind of space available. Look at that old police car. Look at these old police cars. Some of these cars are so old. The cars I've been seeing on the street lately are so old. It's like they're from another time and place. You see what I'm saying? Of course, some had the same problem I had at the other motel. Police harassment all the time. So, but I'm not worried about that. But, as I'm saying, uh, I could not buy the room. So, since I could not get that after motel or rent a uh, uh, storage spot. Now, let me, I'm going to continue this and then I'm all in this because I have to make these videos short. Um, he, he told me he had a 10 by 12 for $100 a month. I said, well, give me that, because I know they're making excuses not to rent me any storage space. And um, then he says, oh, um, I don't have that available either. Something's in there, some people's merchandise is in there, and I'll have to wait until we have an auction to uh, get that out of there. Now, all of a sudden, you don't have any storage available. Look at a police presence. All of a sudden, you don't have any um, storage available. He, and then he said he, he wouldn't have anything available for, uh, what, six days. So I told him I'd be back. I'm going to end this and I'll be back.